you know, at, you know what what's the sort of significance of the sound barrier? What what happens to an airframe at that speed in the atmosphere mm-hmm. that makes it such a significant threshold to cross? Yeah, so there is a the, the I appreciate you're asking that question because it's the best question that nobody ever asks. Um, you know, nobody ever says, well, what in the world does the speed of sound have to do with an airplane? And um, to, to unpack it a little bit, the speed of sound is the speed at which pressure waves move in air. And of course, airplanes are all about you know, shaping and creating pressures. And so when you are subsonic, uh, what that means is every time the airplane moves, it creates a pressure wave that goes faster than the airplane. So if you think about it from the perspective of the nose of the airplane, it's flying along, and there is a pressure wave it's pushing that comes the off air. the nose that goes ahead of the airplane. Yeah. So you could kind of think of it as saying, hey, air, I'm coming. Start getting out of the way. And um, it, But when you are supersonic, the airplane is now outrunning the pressure wave. And th- this is why it is a very discreet point at which, fit, at which physics change. And now the airplane is crashing into the air before the air knows it's coming. And that's what creates shock waves. That's what gives rise to sonic boom. And that's what gives rise to a whole bunch of aerodynamics that, that change around Mach 1. And, you know, if you go back to the you know, very early days of flying, but before, you know, in the military world, we cracked supersonic, people thought it was a sound barrier because they didn't know how to design airplanes that would stay stable, uh, both uh, super and subsonic. And so as you'd approach a speed of sound, one of the things that happens aerodynamically is the center of lift shifts backwards, um, which means if you, you can kind of think of lift as like a force that's like putting up on the airplane. And, and, and you got to keep lift underneath the center of gravity so the airplane stays balanced. But when the center of pressure moves aft, now it means that the, basically your lift is pushing up at the back of the airplane, Nothing's balancing on the front of the airplane, and it tends to like, tip over. And that's why that's why a- aviators called it like there's a sound barrier or there's a demon at Mach one, because what, as they got closer to Mach one, the airplane would want to enter a dive, and uh, the only way to get out of the dive and get the center pressure back uh, where where you need it is to is to slow down. But you're in a dive and you can't slow down. 